got to talk about the Blair Witch Project. Sure, oh, yeah, cultural Absolutely. phenomenon. That Blair yeah, Witch absolutely. ushered in the sort of the found footage era yep. of movies that's mm-hmm. still very prevalent, particularly in on, in horror films now. Uh, <coughs> it went viral before viral was a thing because it yeah. was one of the yeah. first movies really marketed heavily <laughs> and almost exclusively on the internet. Yeah, yeah. it had this inc- this really neat marketing campaign where they're like, is it real? Is it not real? Is it sort of real? Is it based on a real I'll, thing but not yeah, real? Yeah, I'll bet you there are people today who still believe it's real. I and remember it, when people saw it, like my friends would be like, this is real. I know the guys who did it. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, you're an idiot. And but, like, people at home probably like listen to us saying that and they're like, Come on, guys! How gullible and stupid do you have to be? You have to understand this didn't exist yet. Like this had yeah. not, this had never been done. A, a yeah. movie had never been presented in exactly this way and never marketed this way. The idea of the internet as a platform to like, you know, to market something that that didn't that barely to people who were just con- mostly media consumers. Yeah. yeah. That was, no, you can't do that. That couldn't be. If it was on the internet, <coughs> it literally, we were still early enough in the age of the internet where people did really believe that if it was on the internet, <laughs> it was true. Like yeah. that, it, it, We hadn't gotten pa- too far past that. Just Even yet. then, the companies knew that people on the internet were gullible. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But beyond the marketing, which, is, which was exceptional and allowed them to make a, a profit margin that's simply obscene out Plus of the film. Plus 22.5. That's $22,000, yep. not million, $22,500 and grossed $250 million. <laughs> that's crazy. Million dollars. Million so, million dollars. dollars. So, I mean, that's a huge return. Beyond the return, beyond the marketing, there's actually <laughs> a, a pretty good Alfred Hitchcock horror movie in here where less is more uh, philosophy, it, where things are implied rather than shown since mm-hmm. they didn't have any money. There's all kinds of creepy stuff going on, but you don't <clears> actually... See most of it. You hear things. A lot of and times in film, that actually ends up being the case. You've seen it before. Like uh, both Sam Raimi and Steven Spielberg had to do, take a lot of creative liberties to kind of hide their budgets, both with Jaws and with The Evil Dead, mm-hmm. where you don't see things happening. It's more implied, like in Evil Dead, with the camera kind of just coming through the forest from first person perspective to kind of indicate the monsters and stuff or the evil. Exactly. And you see a lot of that in Blair Witch Project. It's yeah. a lot of. It's they really double down on that found footage perspective. There's no dollies, there's no cranes, there's no tripods, it's all handheld, it's all like a shot basically right here in people's faces, you know? It's it's crazy. Well, let's, make, let's go ahead, Vince. Uh, what I was gonna say is what makes me really sad about the Blair Witch Project is that I can never have that experience or anything like it again. Because for that, for that, for that hour and a half I was in the theater with one of my good buddies at the time, we, we were, we were <coughs> adult, you know, young adults, we were adults who genuinely believed that what we were watching was real. Mm. And I can never, I, I will never, we live in an age <laughs> where the, I, I can never be that yeah. naive. blissfully ignorant or naive ever again, and I'm sorry. That well, let's, let's talk about it. the ending before we wrap up, because uh, I remember watching the ending and going, oh, 